everybody and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. Today we're continuing on our dwarf campaign and look at this. Look, never say I don't do anything for you. I got a I got a I got a beautiful I, I got a beautiful little gift for you right here. Look at this. Uh if you remember last time we left off, uh we ambushed uh lightning struck uh some of these war herds that uh with some bullshit <clears throat> from the game uh, spawned in the middle of my territory. And uh, the auto resolve was stupid, and I lost half my army. Uh, they're, they're here as I expected to try and finish off this army. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, for some reason, like all, like all, half of my melee infantry are like all dead. So uh, you know, it's a bit of a problem. This is a little bit of a, like a monster rush, which is actually interesting. Yeah, some good bulgors. Bulgors are pretty good. I don't know if I ever actually took the time to look at them. SFO added some cool beastman stuff. Bulgors are one of them. They're an anti-large AP uh, Minotaur variant. They're pretty cool. Um, wielding big old axes uh, to take down big old monsters. But uh, luckily, we're the dwarves. We don't really have anything that's uh, big old other than uh, the big old book of grudges, of course. Hey, yo. All right. Uh, so we're going to get stuck right in. I think I think we can win this. It's going to be pure as fuck, though. Um, because, like, our, our melee infantry are so low or so wounded. That it's definitely gonna be it's gonna be pure. These hammers might die, but uh, you know, it's no time but the present. All right, and here we are. So um, this changes things. Uh, it's a choke point battle, aka uh, the dwarves are actually impossible to beat if they have a choke point on their side. I'm only like half joking. Um, they have to, in order for them to win, they're gonna have to absolutely kill everything that we have uh, in order to actually be able to break through and do any damage to the stuff that's going to be killing them. And breaking through iron breakers is no is no simple task, man. I mean, just look at these guys. Look at them. Would you want to fight one of these guys? Head to toe in Gromril armor. Like you're not piercing through that. You're not you're not piercing through that as a as a beastie boy. I don't care what what type of claws you got. It's star metal. <clears throat> only the master, only the best of the best of the runesmiths can even forge it into metal. So, like, what are you going to do as, like, a beastie boy? Come on. Utter ridiculousness. Anyways. Uh, yeah, but they're really good. I mean, 94 melee defense is ridiculous. Uh, I believe we gave them the attribute to give them, yeah, perfect vigor. So they're never going to get tired in this choke point. Which is just ridiculous. And then we got two more Iron Breakers to, you know, just add insult to injury. I'm going to put you guys all on guard mode as well. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Now, it's a little bit of an interesting map. Uh, I'm trying to find a good elevation here to uh, try and put my range stuff on. The Iron Drakes aren't actually going to be that useful, I don't think. Maybe, like, here you guys can... You guys can get a good angle off on them, but uh, yeah, not, not, nothing too great here. The the invisible boxes are a little bit wonky around stuff like this. Kind of hard to to tell where you can can't put units. Like I can't put them here, for example, but I can put them here. It's a little bit weird. Um, like, up there, you might be able to get some nice shots. And this would be a good opportunity for Trollhammer Torpedoes instead of the Flamethrower variant, but uh, that's all right. Probably put you guys over here. You can still, like, shoot over them. Then I'll probably have to put you guys off fire at will. Uh, the Thunderers can just come in the back. They're going to be shooting at, like, all the Minotaurs and stuff anyway. Uh, we'll have our Hammerers here. I, I'd, I would really rather them not get committed into melee. But, uh, you know, sometimes these things are just unavoidable. Okay. And then here's here, here's the real here's the real big boys. Uh, the artillery. Now, we want to find a good spot that allows them to shoot right over the head of those uh, iron breakers. Let's see. Like, there is good for that cannon. Uh, but, like, these ones over here have, like, terrible, terrible lines of sight. I'm trying to see, like, this, this hill isn't too terrible. For the 
can like put it like up here a little bit. Uh, it's not great though either. It's not great. It's not great. That can like fire into there. That might be able to clear their heads, but I'm not entirely sure. I, I think this is a pretty good spot, actually. Set them down, because that way they can fire kind of along that length. The gyro bombers are just going to do, you know, what you'd expect them to do. Uh, the flame cannons don't really matter. They can arc their shots, so I'm just going to put them in the back here. They can arc their shots over and shoot into the blob. And yeah, we're, well, yeah, we'll just kind of do it like that, I guess. Uh, see, if they can shoot, great. If not, that's fine. They'll just shoot at the giants anyways. So it's all right. And uh, I guess that's all there really is to it. Got our engineer here. He's kind of in the center to buff up all of our range stuff. All right. Uh, make sure our lord is close to the front so he's gr uh, giving up those those buffs. Not like they should be breaking. Leadership for the dwarves are pretty good, so I'm not too worried about that. Alright, let's see what they can do. Now, the problem is going to be those Cygors. Does make me want to push these guys up a little bit. Uh, just so we don't get as, as messed up by them. But it's kind of just like the, a little bit of a trade-off. Might be worth sending our gyro bombers to go and uh, deal with them. Man, they got 11 bombs, huh? I, I, I can't remember the last time I actually used a gyro bomber. <laughs> They're kind of bad in vanilla, so I, I haven't really used them. Oh yeah, if they can if they can shoot at my. Uh... Oh no, they're not going to. Okay. I was gonna say if they if they want to shoot at my gyro bombers, that's like okay. Uh, that I'll, I'll definitely accept that. Yeah, just just fire into those uh, bestigors. See how good those gyro bombers are at taking down a cygor. Not gonna be as good. Oh, look at those flame cannon shots arcing in. Flame cannons are really good. Oh, and here they come. They're gonna be in bl uh, uh, blasting charge range. Here we go. Oh. Okay, Iron Drakes, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Vunderbar, Vunderbar. Okay, maybe you guys can fire into there and like you guys into there. Oh, uh, we're taking down that Cygor. Uh, okay, those Iron Drakes aren't really shooting at what I want them to shoot at. Oh man, look at all that wavering though. On the enemy line. Offer a little bit of a rally. Look how fast those giants are dying. Look at that. Dwarven artillery, man. It is not something you want to be on the receiving end of. Shoot those Pestigors. Actually, we can get both of them. Those Pestigors have a weakness to fire. Okay, beautiful. Those guys are dead. Pop our ward in there. Uh, shoot you. Uh, organ guns. Start shooting at that giant. Have you guys fired the giant? Iron Drakes are actually kind of good against single entities as well. Just because they can uh, so easily... Oh god. All this, all this screen's shaking. Uh, just because they can put out so much damage. Come on, take down that giant. Take him down, boys. Take him down. Yeah, my lord does not want to be here. Fall back, lord. That lord is messing you up. The beast lord is Slanesh, so he has extra AP. Stay alive. You need, you need to buff the... Oh, look at that. Wonderbar. Wonderbar. 
Yeah, the other side door is about like halfway down. Probably halt the iron drakes. I, I think they're they're fine. <coughs> okay. Oh jeez. Beautiful. But now as they run away, uh, I can actually fire a will again. Send some fire. Oh yeah, look at that lord. Look at that. Look at that lord. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He's he's just dead. Uh, Jarrow Bombers didn't get to drop their bombs, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate, but uh, they they were very important in taking down these Cygors. Uh Gyro Bombers are just important for that. They're better at killing the AoE hordes, of course, uh, but in this case, they were my only op my only answer to their artillery, and often are uh, for stuff like that, uh, for stuff like this, rather. Oh, other one. Get up here, too. Uh, they have, like, explosive machine guns, which is pretty cool. I want to kill off as many of these guys as possible. Okay. And they're being seen off the field. Beautiful. All right. And wonderful. Like I said, I did think we can win it, but we did have definitely have some casualties on those poor iron breakers. And bam. All right. Wonderful. Uh, this first Beastman Bray herd uh, is uh, seen off for now, at least. Uh, very, very Puric, uh, but we didn't actually lose any units, which is very good. Those guys are very low, though. And, hey, look, we got a Banner of the Eternal Flame. That's very fitting. This is a very, uh, fiery army. Uh, let's put on, like, our center iron breakers, because they give fire damage to everything around them as well. So, you know, why not to make a front line of fire units? Actually, you know what? No, put it on the Lord, because he can more easily maneuver and, uh, get that buff. Dude, look at those flame cannons. 427 kills. <clears throat> Uh, 84,000 damage dealt. Dude, flame cannons are so good. I love them. They're, they're super good. Uh, go ahead and execute these captives. Uh, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and retreat. And the end of the turn comes along. Alright, and welcome back. Here we are. Uh, we should have gotten a turn of replenishment in. Yes, we did. So we should be able to finish them off now. All right, and cool, and we got a veneration as well. That is very good. Now, here comes the question, which one do we want to do? Uh, I'm probably going to do... I'll do the campaign movement range. That could be good. I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna do Morgrim. Just because, you know, the artillery. This guy has pretty good artillery. You know, reduced up creep. Uh, so, yeah. It just fits. It just fits. As for you here, uh, get machine oil. You might be able to finish off his other line, but uh, I'm too lazy to check. <clears throat> Alright, and we should be able to finish you off. Uh, balance bar, or I mean auto resolve, please do not uh, screw me over. Okay, good. We lost actually nothing. We lost nothing. Wonderful. See, that's, that's as it should be. Oh, dude, we got a rune of courage. Uh, I, okay, it's it's somewhere. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's okay. Let's see. The Bajornlings still have not shown up. Which is, uh, you know, still a little bit concerning. But, uh, you know, not nothing we can really do about it. You know, they'll show up when they show up, I guess. Hopefully the Tomb Kings just, like, wipe them out. Or they just, like, never show up. The High Elves are over here. Uh, the filthy, disgusting Knife Ears. Uh, colonizing basically all of Bretonia. Uh, that's good, I guess. Oh, uh, we have this other Beastman Bray herd. Uh, they're, they're just chilling. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care. They can do whatever they want. Uh, get, get Ungrim back to Karak Uh, he's gonna need to be guarding in there. Uh, Chaos is coming. Look at this. Just look at this nightmare, dude. Uh, let's have our, our hero here. Oh, look at this. Yes, let's move. Look at this. Oh my god. That is terrible. All my stuff is on fast move, and I actually forgot that was a thing in this game, and I don't actually know how to fix that. Um, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. Oh my god. So many of them. Archaeon and his horde of, of terrifying monstrosities. This is this is an end. This is a doom tide for sure. 
Uh, we need to make sure we're ready for that. I think we are. I, I hope they, they come up into the mountains again like they did last time. If they come in through this way, uh, then we'll be in a bit of a, a, of a predicament. But it's okay because we can underway over. We have so many buffs to movement range. And it's, uh, that we, we should be able to handle that without too much difficulty. Anyways, uh, a little bit of a... Oh, God. Of course they would be over here as well. Of course they would be. Uh, Beastmen coming over here. But Crookback Mountain is no longer the weak place it used to be. Uh, Grombi Grom here has got some better units, finally. And uh, he's, he's ready to take on the world. Give him some more hammers. Probably, like, upgrade his walls. Uh, yeah, I'll be good. If they can just, like, besiege him there, go for it. So, uh, we'll wait till defenses get built up there, and then we'll probably head out. Uh, we will go to War of the High Elves eventually, don't you worry. Uh, you know, War of the Beard 2.0 will occur. But, uh, for now, uh, I kind of have bigger issues. Uh, Chaos needs to get dealt with first. Once, uh, once Archaon and company have been dealt with, then we can go ahead and worry about those filthy knife ears. And we even have a special weapon uh, to deal with them. I think I already uh, forged it. Uh, Elf Bane. I'm pretty sure I did. Let me just check real quick. It's possible begin. that I didn't. Uh, weapons. Yeah, no, I did. Which uh, grants some pretty good uh, buffs against fighting elves. So we'll definitely equip that and get to a whole army once we're ready to do that. But... Uh, now's not the time. Kind of be bad to open up a war with probably one of the most powerful factions left remaining. All yeah, Aetain is pretty strong. Looks like, yeah, they conquered all of Nagarond. Looks like... I'm surprised they're dealing with the Chaos Invasion so well. They have the Sword of Cain up there. Uh, their friends throughout all, all of here. Looks like Teclas. Yeah, they confederated Teclas. And they, they took over there. They're probably friends with some Lizardmen as well. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with like the New World Alliance. That's going to be fun. And uh, my alliance is kind of terrible because the Empire is, well, a, just a bunch of mishmash states. They don't even have Altdorf, dude. <laughs> they have they have Dankenhof, dude. They have Dankenhof instead. Just a, just a bit of a nightmare all around. But uh, uh, hello, everybody. I didn't get a chance to go through my usual greetings. I hope you're all having a good week. A uh, good start to your week. Um, we had some very exciting news come out over the end of last week about uh, the last DLC, the Sounds and the Fury. Uh, finally got the actual trailer this time and some uh, some really cool stuff. It's going to be a really good uh, final DLC. They're going all out for it, and I am loving it. Uh, getting Ogre Mercenaries. We're getting a Dwarf rework as well, which is cool. Um, I, I was upset because the Lizardmen were getting in when... Like, the dwarves still needed stuff, but it looks like they're getting love anyways. Oh god, here they come. Um, so that's good. I, I am very glad about that. You know, even though, like, we just kind of did a campaign. A little bit of awkward timing. If I would have done a different campaign instead of the dwarf one, we could have played with all the new tools and toys with them. But hey, it's okay. Know that I will be enjoying them, nonetheless. Um, unless you want a dwarf campaign to electric boogaloo but i i don't i don't think that'd be a very good idea but hey you know what once we get to the end of this I'll, I'll be open to suggestions for which factions to play next for sure um but yeah they're getting uh some cool reworks to their rune system some additional content a new legendary lord thoric iron brow very cool very awesome very cool guy uh, one of the best living runesmiths in the uh in the world left alive still at this point uh, he is a pretty cool uh, death in the end times where he uses Anvil of Doom to murder a bunch of people. Uh, no tax increase, please. Uh, but it turns out to not matter in the end. I think he's fighting Neferata and Nagash and the undead. And he like obliterates like almost all of them with his Anvil of Doom by you know slamming it down and summoning the lightning and all that. Um, only for them to just raise them all again anyways. So, you know, just the quality, the quality writing, uh, that you come to expect in, uh, in the, in the End Times novels. So, you know, good, good stuff. But he's a really cool guy. Uh, glad that they're adding him in and the rework to runes in general. 
we get mighty reputation, we can reduce these guys as leadership. Uh, they have the bullshit uh, reduced supplies uh, trait. So hopefully they'll just besiege and not try to starve us out. That would be cool. Uh, the Bajornlings still are not showing up. You know, I kind of feel bad. I, like, hyped them up. that They're a threat I need to worry about, and they're not doing... Not doing squat. I'll actually send, uh... I'll start sending you over, just in case they do decide to starve them out. I'm not gonna let that shit happen. Not on my watch. The chaos is is an overwhelming force, so... You know, we'll, we'll just have to kind of see how it goes. Where is... So, Colex is there. Archaeon's in there. Sigvald's in there. Unfortunately, they're not leading the charge. Looks like they are just going to come in through this way. Uh, they might come up around and, and in through here. Uh, Mouse Darkbraid is coming back over here. He might uh, come and deal with the, with the remaining beastmen. I hope so. Or he'll just run away like a little bitch again. Which is, you know, pretty pretty accurate to how Dark Elves are, just as a species. You know, them being inferior and all to the majestic dwarves. You know, it's not racism if you're, if you're right, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's not really much more... Okay, uh, yeah, Thane, keep up with them and keep an eye on them. I don't want to lose uh, sight of the Chaos Hordes here. Immortal Heroes, can you please get out of my sight? Yep, leave you there. Belagar, Iron Hammer. Uh, yeah, just... Uh, stay there for now, but I probably... Uh, I probably should start moving you, though. Is your army good? Yeah, it's it's okay. I uh, would rather these guys be Iron Breakers, but... You know, I don't think he was able to get those quite yet, so that's alright. Um... Well, I gotta decide whether I want to leave him over here or bring him back. I'm gonna leave him there for now. Rather have the force to move around in that uh, space than to have nothing at all. So, that's good. Yeah, a lot of exciting news uh, coming out. Uh, the Ogre Mercenaries looks really cool, and it does point towards uh, Ogre Kingdoms being the uh, DLC race for uh, pre-order race for the uh, third game, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really know. I don't really have too much of a history with Ogre Kingdoms myself. I didn't play Tabletop. Uh, so, you know, uh, they're, they're not really that important in the lore either. They're kind of just used whenever they're needed. You know, whenever a big battle comes up, there'll be like a side plot where a character goes to bribe them. And then that'll usually be it. <laughs> but, I mean, they're, they're a cool faction, so I'll definitely be happy to see them. Just as many factions as possible in the game, man. I'll be happy. Happy with that for sure. Very cool stuff. That, of course, with the with the stuff just for the Beastmen and the Lizardmen in general, uh, we both got the Gorgon and the uh, and the and the other one. <laughs> I already forgot the name of it. They're they're really they're really weird names. Okay, cut me some slack. Uh, yeah, we got we got both the cool beasties for the Beastmen, which is really good. Uh, should help make their roster a lot better. Yeah, the, the Bajornlings are, are screwed. They they lost, like, all of their forces. Uh, so they, they shouldn't be coming here anytime soon. Well, it looks like, looks like that army is just going off on his own. Okay, the Slayer Oath. That's cool, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't want him going around raiding shit. So I'm going to have you move out to deal with them again. Uh, yeah, the Bajornlings are dead, so we don't have to worry about them. Damn, it kind of feels weird that I, I hyped them up so much, huh? Well, you, trust me, I, I did have a dwarf campaign once where I did get screwed over because I forgot they existed, okay? It was really, really bad. Uh, move you to Black Iron Mine. We still got a turn before we starve. Um, and that way you are in range, so if they do decide to keep on besieging, you can go and help out. Uh, you can intercept that army. And let's see, oh yeah, they're they're doing the conga line up into here. Alright, here we go, boys. So hopefully we can catch them in the same, like, trifecta area, where uh, they split their forces three-way to attack uh, Mount Gunbad, Grom Peak, and Karakadrin. 
Uh, that would be good if we could uh, set that up again. Grash Snacks Lair, uh, you are not long for this world. I'm not going to waste any more money on you. Might be worth upgrading you, though. Oh, gun bad. Get it. Uh, max level. Mal effects. So it looks like some of them are moving ahead of the pack. Remember, we just got a... We just got a... Uh, oh, what? Procrastinator. Oh, I hate that. That's such a stupid thing. Oh, yes. Procrastinator. He's a lazy lord because he's garrisoning a settlement that might be targeted by the chaos hordes. Wow. What a lazy hero. Stupid, dude. Why don't just move you outside and go into encampment stance? That won't get you a uh, procrastinator trait, but uh, staying in a settlement? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're lazy. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, one of the many things I hope gets looked at and tweaked for the next game. All right. And end the turn here. Ooh, looks like we got, got, a, we got a storm brewing outside. Oh, very nice. Very cool. You guys like the rain? I love the rain. Uh, especially since I now live in a desert where it never has any weather effects at all. Uh, seeing anything that's remotely uh, linked to weather is pretty cool. So, like, come rain or thunder showers, monsoon seasons, great. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, it makes it moister out, which is which is uh, really nice. Uh, especially for my nostrils, which hate the dry air. As, I, as I'm sure you've noticed in the past couple of videos, which I apologize for. Looks like they got some armies over there on the other side. Yep, the rest of them are coming and funneling into the mountains. Here we go, boys. Chaos comes. Chaos comes. The doom tide is coming and knocking on our door. All right, and here we go. Uh, looks like they decided to come for Crookback Mountain after all. Um, a very foolish move on their part, but uh, we'll make sure to pay, uh, make them pay for that in this siege battle. That was really <laughs> awkwardly worded, I apologize. Yeah, let's go kill these guys. Alright, and here we are. <clears throat> Gromby, Gromby and crew, uh, his uh, holy crusaders or whatever you want to call them. Uh, we're here, Crookback Mountain, uh, for like the 30 millionth time. <laughs> fighting for this damn settlement uh you you already know what it's what it is i went ahead and set everything up already and uh yeah we're we're about ready to kick this off um interestingly enough the ai chose to build only siege towers uh which is a uh <laughs> an interesting choice to say the least um no no battering rams whatsoever in their army mostly consisting of monstrous infantry um but you know uh who, who are we to judge the intelligence of the AI, okay? Uh, I'm sure it has some grand uh, plan that we can only, uh, you know, only see glimpses of. I'm sure of it. I'm sure. Uh, anyways, okay, uh, these cyborgs, if uh, we could get these towers to take them down, uh, that would be great. Because uh, they're going to be annoying, they're going to be throwing stones, and we don't like stones being thrown at our our beautiful dolly brethren that's just not what you want that's not really what you want to have uh, going on in your day uh, we have all of our like thunderers up on the walls they'll hopefully be doing good work uh shooting down now uh, they they are going to try and flood the walls with stuff so um they're not going to be like too too effective but you know uh we should be able to send them off fairly easily yeah look at those senegores they're just getting melted uh, they have quite a lot of uh, Bestigors coming this way, but yeah, they're getting wrecked. These towers are really good. Dwarf Lightning uh, being sent their way. Oh, uh, they're not doing great damage. I guess they're not hitting the Cygors all that often. Oh, yeah, look at that. That tower fell down. Wonderful. Unfortunately, there's a Siege Tower in the way, actually, with that Cygor. <clears throat> if, if the AI actually planned that, that's really impressive, but I know they didn't. <laughs> so, like... Yeah. Oh, that tower actually made it. I think because the towers switched targets, so, uh... Okay, Thunderers, we're gonna have you guys go ahead and fall back. Have our Longbeards turn around. Our Ironbreakers. Let's just see if they can get, um... 
See if they can get some, some good volleys off on them. Okay, Iron Breakers. We're gonna we're gonna go into there. Okay, these Thunderers need to run. Yeah, those those Vestigor are getting getting wrecked. Get the Thane in there. Right, we're gonna bring over the other uh, dwarf warriors. Bring over these long beards, beards and belts. Uh, these Vestigors are just you know having a having a, uh, a circle jerk in the woods, you know, as beastmen do, as beastmen do. Uh, are they rushing the walls or the gates rather? Uh, no, they have nothing going on on the gates whatsoever. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we got Gromandal coming over here. He's going to wreck their lord. Uh, you don't want to be fighting Gromandal in a 1v1 duel. Uh, it's just not going to end very well for you. Unless you're a really good melee powerhouse like Archaon or something like that. But uh, uh, the powerhouse a random Bestigor lord is not. These towers are doing great, ju great work over here. Wrecking all those guys. Uh, Thunderers. You guys could please uh, move off of the walls. These guys will be fine. At least they should be. We got some of the Zongors, the Zinchian, and some Slongors. They're all they're all too similar. <laughs> Is this worth it? No, that's the, no. That, that can't that can't possibly be worth it. Uh, but what will be worth it? Is this? Watch, check this shit out. <laughs> oh, it just broke. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, those Vestigors are just in a big old blob over there. I wonder, if I bring these guys over, well, do you think they'll have the range to hit those guys? That'd be pretty fun if they did. Okay, Brombi, he can make his way over here, I guess. Oh, those towers are just wrecking these guys. Uh, if they once they do hit, they they do so much damage that uh, it doesn't. The cyborgs are not liking it. Okay, uh, these guys have been broken. Wonderful. You still have not gotten off the walls. Oh my lord! They're like children. They're like, they're like petulant children. They like to follow orders. I'll probably send these guys over. The Thane did not have a good time. And hey, look, they actually are in range. Wonderful. Yeah, those Vestigors aren't going to like that. Uh, you know, we might try moving our grudge throwers over here, because, I mean, they're not doing anything anyways. <laughs> they're doing basically jack-all. Sweet F.A. I mean, they usually do. Uh, siege equipment. That's, that's how it works in uh, these types of battles, but, you know. Still, it's, it's a little disappointing to see. Oh, look at all those. Look at all those shit the blasts go. All the smoke stain. Hanging around a little bit longer thanks to cinematic battle effects. That's one of the mods that I have on. Uh, it's pretty good. It uh, makes uh, stuff like smoke and dust a little bit more uh, viable. And some of the weather effects a little bit better as well. A little bit more vibrant and noticeable. Wait, can we kill that cyborg? That'd be cool. Um, that's another cool mod that I'm using. All my mods are listed below in the Steam Workshop link. Uh, I'll take you to my collection. That is so broken. <laughs> I love it. Uh, <coughs> I do that instead of just listing them all off. So you can just go and subscribe to them and download them yourself. Very easy, very simple, good way to do it. I have like, yeah, like, I have like 21 mods, I think, on for my single player campaign, 21 or 22, one of those. Um, that, that is going to be an interesting thing. When the when the DLC comes out, of course, all the mods break because the game version gets updated and all the mods have to update to uh, that version or to fix it. So um, I'll probably have to do all my next series of videos in uh, vanilla. Uh, because of that. Uh, unless, you know, I want to just, like, not upload for... Oh, that tower is blocking most of them, isn't it? Yikes. But yeah, I'm going to have to do most of it in vanilla. 
Unless I want to wait like <laughs> two months or something for all the mods to get updated. Uh, if they're even still going to be updated. Because sometimes the mod creators just say F it and stop it. Which is, I mean, is, is fine. You know? It's free content, but it always feels bad. When your mod you love just stops being used. And, uh, they're like, oh, okay. I guess I can't do that anymore. But, uh, I don't think any of these ones will. They're pretty, pretty big, pretty popular mods, most of them. Oh, uh, army losses is getting kicked in. They're shattering. Wonderful, wonderful. Pop this into triple fast forward. And let that go. But yeah, we'll, 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 we'll deal more with that uh, when the time comes. Good, one of the giants is dead. Let the lightning towers just, you know, do their do their work. Let these guys get whittled down just so that, you know, hopefully the balance bar will realize that they're screwed and they won't uh, try anything funny after this battle is over. All right, and uh, bam, another good victory. Uh, these beastmen are but the vanguard of the chaos invasion. The chaos warriors themselves, they're the scary ones, especially when they come in groups of like three, three armies at a time. So, uh, you know, this is nothing compared to the main meal, but uh, yeah, see you back on the campaign map. And bam, all right, wonderful, wunderbar, wunderbar. Uh, another ba uh, chaos spray herd is seen off the filthy beastmen uh, being seen back off into the into the nether realms. Let's see. Uh, give me war fervor. Give me the extra leadership. Let's see. What's going on here? Okay, so we have a large grouping of, of armies here. God, what is happening? Are any of the legendary lords in there? I don't think so. I think all of the all the ones we want to kill are uh, are up here somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is a nightmare. I think Colex, Sigvald, and Arcan are somewhere in this mess. Oh, it gets hard to see though. So there's just so many of them. I see Venerus in there. My boy. Okay, we got one army. There's okay. Coming by himself over. Alright. I mean that's that's something I suppose. All right, uh, and uh, we're gonna throw the sky hammer in this army. I think it's gonna be really good on that map. Uh, some of these chaos armies are coming up over here. So high elves, uh, I don't think you get away uh, unscathed from all this. Uh, we have some random greenskin tribes coming around. Uh, the other bray herd has come to uh, black iron mine, but they're gonna find very little success there. As much as they did in Crookback Mountain. Let's see here. Um, we already have extra powder. Perfect. Yeah, the Siege Towers don't really matter all that much. You already got the Grudge Thrower Mastery. Already increased your range, so, like, yeah, we'll go along this tree, I suppose. Uh, let's see your, like, actual weapon strength. Increase your melee attack, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we can finish off this guy. Badabushka. Badabishka. Execute the captives. And uh, we'll march you stance back you in. Uh, march stance you back into Crookback Mountain. Just so you don't get like a. Uh, Siege or anything. And, and this army inside a Black Iron Mine should be fine with its garrison and, of course, walls. Um, I mean, Beastmen just don't really have much uh, that can penetrate through long beards very easily. This isn't a great army, as we've already established. Uh, that, that was more just like the emergency army just to uh, hold down some of these territories down over there. You know, I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't really know who you are, and I don't really care. <laughs> uh, one of Belagar's ghosts. Just, uh, I just don't really care, man. I don't really care about Belagar's army. You know, they're all ghosts anyway, they're just, uh, they're not even real. Ghosts aren't real, right? Okay, go ahead and move into regular stance so we're not caught out in, uh, in underway. Go ahead and get cloaked figure, that's pretty good. He now has stock, so you can't even see Grombindol before he comes to beat up your, beat you up and take your lunch money, which is pretty good. 
it's it's a it's a favored pastime of his. Don't question it. Uh, we got you standing outside of there. Wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful indeed. Oh.